Welcome to our Spark tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many data engineers encounter. Our viewer is working with Spark version 2.1 in Databricks and wants to add a new column named Region to their data frame called WAMP. The goal is to set this column to a constant value of NE. However, they're running into a pesky error. Name error, name lit is not defined. Let's dive into what might be going wrong and how to fix it. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully find that resolution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. <laughs> to add a constant value column to your Spark data frame, you need to use the lit function from the PySpark SQL functions module. This function allows you to create a column with a constant value. Now that we have imported the lit function, we can proceed to add the new column named region with the constant value NE. If you encounter a name error stating that lit is not defined, it means that the lit function has not been imported correctly. Ensure that your import statement is at the top of your code. After making sure the lit function is imported, run your code again. You should now be able to add the region column without any errors. In summary, always remember to import necessary functions before using them in your Spark data frame operations. This will help you avoid common errors. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To add a constant value column to a Spark data frame, you can use the lit function from PySpark. First, create your data frame, then use with column to add a new column with the constant value. Here's an example. Start with a data frame containing columns A, B, and C. After adding the constant value 5, you'll see a new column D in your data frame. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help, and until then, have a good one.